What is up guys? How's it going? Thank you so much for stopping by. We are doing another unboxing showcase review on Bam Presto's The Amazing Heroes line for My Hero Academia. This is actually volume number 12, the 12th figure in this series. Love this series. More dynamic poses out of this particular series and that's why it's a great line to collect. I love Bam Presto statues for their mere fact that they just take an animated character and make it look like it came right out of the screen so here we have hawks and hawks thank you i got gotcha. you let's get you somewhere safe although to be frank i'm not great against power types so i'm not making any guarantees my goodness, I, I never thought I would get to see this figure so soon, but uh, I know this actually came out a while ago, but I, for me to pick it up uh, pretty recently, I'm actually extremely excited about it. So let's get started. The box shows you the different angles of the statue itself. As you can see on the back of the box, has his name, has his quirk, uh, and a much more wide out shot of the statue and some more close-ups on the sides and the front of the box. Now, for those of you that have not seen my videos, before this part, I actually show you what actually comes inside the box because I do keep my packaging just in the event if I have to, you know, package them back up for some unknown reason. But inside the box, you will find that it is a statue that's encased in cardboard. And more than likely at the same time, it's actually in pieces because with Ben Presto statues, you may have to put them together. So here's the cardboard and here it is wrapped up in plastic so you can see what it's all about. Now, always try to be careful to pull them out because you don't want to pull anything so hard that you might break something off. So let's see how many pieces it takes to put this figure together. Wow, we have a lot of pieces. So as you can see here, everything is individually packaged inside. Just got to cut them out and then we got to put them all together. So let's unpackage this. So this is a whole lot more parts than I have ever had for any Ben Presto statue. This is, this is many. Uh, I'm very surprised, but very excited. So let's start off with the stand. It looks like your basic stand. Nothing too special about it. It is like a clear black or gray. It does come with a flight stand right here. So make sure you properly place the pieces in. As you can see, they're all unique shapes. So make sure you insert it properly. Put that in the back for the time being. We actually have some wings going on and an individual feather. So we will take a look at that. And we have the lower torso, well, well, the lower part of his body, which are of course the legs, with the peg that should be inserted in the torso. Here is the torso with the arms. And of course the peg hole for that. And a peg hole for the head, as well as the head. So let's put them together. We'll start off with the legs and the torso. Let's make sure you properly insert them. It is a snug fit in most cases, so make sure you find that spot where it can slide and then press firmly, but not too much where you might, you know, bend or break something. And of course, here is the head. Look at the different shape it has, so make sure you insert that properly as well. That way. Oh, see that? He's looking off to the side. So make sure you get that in there. And there you go. And now we have peg holes for the wings, as well as there is a peg hole right at his butt. And that's more than likely going to go right there. So let's do the wings first. And just insert. Yep, there is a particular way. That goes in pretty far, so be careful not to press too hard where it will bend. And let's 
get that. That's wild. Maybe I have it in the wrong spot. See, if you don't pay attention, yep, I have it in the wrong spot. No, that is the right one. That's my fault. That is the right spot. There is a unique shape for both of them. And you go right there. In which, see that? I know it's supposed to go in further than that, but it's giving me a little bit of difficulty. So you gotta find, there it is. I feel it now. Gotta lower it a little bit and then it'll go in very nicely. So that is honestly as far as I will go just to be on the safe side, but it won't really hinder much with, with uh, the aesthetic. So now this, where is it? So this has this little notch or peg right there. So you have to see right here, right at his hand, you'll see a little like peg hole right there for it to be inserted. So you just have to make sure you can get that in there properly without having any issues. Cause it's gotta fit in between the fingers as well. So that's the only hard part I would have to say of doing it. But once you kind of slide it, there you go. Once you slide that part in there, it just slides into that peg hole like firmly. And you can see how the feather kind of races around over his shoulder and arm. There you go. All right, so one last thing, stand. Let's get him on the stand. Again, another unique shape. So make sure you insert it the way it should. There you go. All right. All right, guys, there you go. Back on the rotating base. Hawks looks incredible. I love, again, this dynamic pose that shows you him in flight as well as him in, a, in a, like more of an attack pose. So that's awesome. He, of course, that's, that's his quirk. He's got these wings um, to be able to use as weapons as well, as you can see what's what he's holding in his hand. Really, really awesome looking figure. I think I love his overall aesthetic. It's very simple. It's kind of like he's got this, he's got this attire that works extremely well for this overall look of the character. I love how it, it just shows you this in-flight posing. That's what I love about the dynamicism of, of these figures. So let's kind of just take them off so we can get a closer look. The, the overall paint looks great. As you can see, we got two different colors for the boots. We actually have these little zippers as well. Uh, and the paint on the, the pants at least matches the jacket. So that's a good thing, of course. Uh, and you can see the stress lines in the sculpts to help with that, that look of him posing. Uh, as well as this area here. Uh, it's basically just like this tight fitted shirt, but he's got these line, yellow line patterns, which is perfectly fine. It's no, uh, no bleeds in the paint. So that actually works out very nicely. Love how we have the feathered or the, the fake feathered or fur on his jacket. It's all painted separately. So that's good. There's no color bleed or paint bleed as well so it actually works out nicely and the wings the wigs are only a one color i wish it had a little bit of like a black wash to give it some more depth but it still works out very well based on the lighting so the, it, it works out perfectly fine what's weird is the reason why i say that is because it's just a it's probably like the color of the plastic as well so that's why it just looks very plain and I, that's why i was hoping for maybe more of a black wash and with the head sculpt that portrait looks awesome it actually has some depth in the mouth it's got a clear plastic for his his visors around the eyes 
the headpiece around the ears and the sculpted hair which is all in like separate pieces so actually that looks really cool the way his bangs are kind of flowed upwards like that very nicely done with the sculpt so really really nice and just to compare let's compare him to his other character the other characters from the amazing heroes line because here is here is bakugo as you can see and we have mirio the million look that looks actually really really cool i love that and here we have tamaki who is definitely lower just because he is standing on a base but that is where the height comparison would be because he's elevated and we have tenya here look at that that's a big difference tenya definitely is a taller character but you can see in his posing he's his his leg is going to make him much taller and here we have him next to all might now all might is more in a charging pose but if he were to stand upright he's going to be much much taller so there you have it guys i hope you enjoyed seeing this unboxing showcase review this is hawks from the amazing heroes line of my hero academia by pen Pam presto he looks awesome i think it's a great figure overall dynamicism wins it for me this is why i enjoy this line so much but thank you guys so much for watching as always make sure you hit the like comment subscribe let me know what you guys think about this statue but thank you guys so much for watching i hope to hear from you soon i hope to see you on the next hunt